everyone, I'm Jamila and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have a salad recipe for you guys. Um, I love to make large salads. Um, I usually try to keep a salad in the refrigerator for my family to kind of eat off of uh, throughout the day and throughout the week. And this is one of our favorites. It is an Asian inspired sprout salad. I will be showing you the how to put together the sprout salad and I will also be showing you the dressing which will be a cilantro and ginger dressing. So let me go ahead and get into what I have all here. Um, first of all I have two bunches of cilantro and what I did was I picked the leaves off of the stems. Now if you don't want to take the time to do that. It can be a little tedious. You can just chop up um, the cilantro with the stems. You know, like I always say, you do it how you like it. I'm showing you what I do, but you can always modify it to how you would like to prepare what I'm making. Um, but what I'm going to do is the stems that I, that are, that are from the leaves, I am going to be using those in the dressing, so I'm not going to be wasting anything. Um, I also have a half a small head of red cabbage that has been shredded. Shredded carrots. This is one large carrot. About three quarters of a very large um, red bell pepper and I have two bags of mung bean oh that's not coming out backwards so you can't read it but these are mung bean sprouts and I have two packages that I'm going to be putting in the salad this is uh, one large zucchini that I have shredded and I have this half here because I wanted to show you how I got the little strips of the zucchini and also of the carrot. Now I have one of these vegetable peelers that are serrated. You can see that. So that when you scrape down the vegetable, it makes these little, these little strips here like that. So I am going to uh, show you how I did that. So, you know, you can just imagine that this is the whole zucchini or the carrot, and you just take your vegetable peeler and you just draw it down the side. Now, if you can kind of see what I'm doing here, let me try to get that in the camera better for you guys. And you see how it makes these little strips. Now with the zucchini, I just uh, you know made the strips down to where I started to reach the seeds, and then I stopped because the core with the seeds, I'm going to put that in my dressing, plus this um, little piece of the zucchini. I just wanted to show you guys how I got the strips. So. Now that I explained that, let's get back to the ingredients. I have here three tablespoons of sesame seeds. That's going to be tossed into the salad. This is one small bunch of green onions. I believe there were four or five. I don't really remember, but I know it was one whole uh, bunch. This right here is a two ounce package of basil, finely chopped, plus half of a four ounce package of mint. So all we need to do for the salad portion is just to throw all these ingredients into a large bowl. Okay. 
going to put one bag of sprouts and I'm going to layer that with half of the cilantro. The other bag of sprouts. Cilantro. Another reason why I'm doing this is so that when I go to mix it, it'll mix a little bit better. You want to make sure that all the ingredients here for your salad are well combined. And actually, I will be right back because I don't think I grabbed a big enough bowl. I have uh, put the ingredients into a larger bowl. I have more room to mix. I misjudged the bowl. But like I said, this is real life, not studio perfection, so no worries. Now I am going to put in cabbage, carrots, zucchini strips, the mint and the basil, green onions, and I just want to I'm going to mix this up a little bit in here. Okay. Now for the rest of the ingredients. The bell peppers. And the sesame seeds. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix this until all of the ingredients are well combined. And then we'll move on to the dressing. Now that I have the salad ingredients all mixed and ready for the dressing, we're going to go ahead and uh, put together the dressing. And for this, you're going to need a blender. So I have my Vitamix here. And what I'm going to use for the dressing, as I mentioned before, all of the stems from the cilantro leaves that I put in the salad. The juice of one lime. You know, I have, I'm going to start with this chunk of ginger. Um, you never really know with um, fresh raw foods how pungent either your garlic or your ginger or your onions are. So um, I'm going to start with this and after I taste it I may need to add more so that's why I have these other pieces in the bowl. Same thing with the garlic. I have four um, medium sized cloves of garlic in here. I'm going to start with three and if I feel like I need more garlic, then I'll add the fourth. One cup of sesame seeds. And I have the, now these bits right here are what was left from when I shredded the zucchini. As I had mentioned before, see where I just shredded down to just the seeds and I stopped. So I didn't want the seeds in the salad as part of the the um, solid part of the salad, I guess you could say. But I'm, I need these for the dressing and also the other half of a zucchini that I demonstrated on is in here too. And as I had mentioned um, before, the reason why I'm using zucchini is so that I don't need to use oil in my dressing and it's going to be a, a cream dressing. We like cream dressings around here. so. Um, I can kind of get away with that. You can't really get away with not using oil, as far as I know, um, when you're making a vinaigrette. So, um, anyway, 
Um, I have some tamari. Now I'm going to show you raw uh, soy sauce. And for a little sweetness, I have coconut nectar, which is raw. So this whole recipe is a raw vegan. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to put in the lime juice. I'm going to put all my liquids and water rich um, items on the bottom of my uh, container here. Now I'm going to eyeball this and it's probably going to be about two tablespoons or so of the tamari. And the same with the, and I'm going to show you. Okay, and about, I would say, a tablespoon or so of your coconut nectar. You don't want it to be too sweet, but because of the acid with the um, lime, you do need that sweet component in there. And now I'm going to put in my zucchinis, three cloves of the garlic. The stems of my cilantro, and I am going to blend this down first, then I will add my uh, sesame seeds and the ginger. Okay, I have all the ingredients that I put in here already pretty well liquefied. Now I'm going to add in the uh, ginger and the sesame seeds. And as I mentioned, I'm going to start with this chunk of ginger first. And this is organic ginger, so I didn't need to peel it, just need to wash it. So that's why I still have the peel on. And also, a lot of um, your root vegetables, a lot of the benefits, the peel has a lot of benefits. It has a lot of the minerals and uh, whatnot that the um, root gets from the ground in the peel. So that's why a lot of times... Um, I don't peel my vegetables, my root vegetables, if they're organic. If they're not organic, well, I try to always buy organic, especially with root vegetables. So, Because if they use pesticides, all that drains down into the soil. So, But just to throw it in there. And... Alright, let's go ahead and check our dressing. some off this damper here. Hmm. Not quite there, but it's good. I need the garlic. I'm going to drop in mm, these two chunks of ginger. I'm also, let's put this down here. I'm also going to add more of it. I'm going to show you. And I would say that for a final measurement, maybe a quarter to half a cup, maybe. I go by taste, so. And don't have that much of the tamari in here, so I'm just going to put the rest of that in here. And then I'm going to add more of the uh, coconut nectar. And that was probably maybe about a quarter cup. And 
and we're going to give this another blend. Let's go ahead and uh, check the uh, dressing again. I think it should be done now. We'll go ahead and give this a taste. Yes, the dressing is ready. Okay, now I have some of the dressing on top of the salad. I'm just going to mix this in and give this a little taste. This is really good. I know I always say that, but it is. <laughs> mm. The ginger with the cilantro and the lime really sets off the salad really nicely. So, there you have it. My Asian inspired sprout salad with cilantro and ginger dressing. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your family and friends. And also, don't forget to subscribe for new recipes each week. Until next time, bye.